Hello, everyone. Hello. We are going to get started here in a few minutes. I'm going to wait for my friends. We are going to get started and we're going to make something super cute. As usual, we try to make stuff that's super cute, right? <laughs> oh, lady. Shut the door. So we can get started. Let me see who I need to say. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. I hope everyone is having a wonderful week before Christmas Eve. We are almost, almost there, almost in the home stretch. Christmas is around the corner. <clears throat> I went into, um, gosh, what store was it? I went into one store and hi, Kathy. Hi, Kay. I went into the store to go find like Christmas stuff. Hi, Linda. And they're already like putting spring stuff in. I'm like, what? Hi, Marianne. I'm like, well, where's, where's the Christmas stuff that's like going on sale for like, you know, 90% off or something. Thank you so much, Kay. I appreciate you for sharing. Thank you. So I'm like, well, what happened? I'm thinking I'm going to get some good discounts and stuff. And nope, spring is right around the corner. So it's already, it's already gone. <laughs> Hi, Shelly. Your wrapping presents. Oh, you're wonderful, Linda. You are so good. Yeah, I'm I'm wrapping mine in a gift bag. <laughs> Hi, Bonnie. Hi, guys. Okay, we're going to get started. <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so a couple things before I get started. One, don't forget about my giveaway. I have a giveaway for my subscribers on YouTube. And number two, this project sheet tonight, um, it's going to be posted tonight, okay? So you don't have to wait till tomorrow. It's going to be posted tonight. However, next week, we are probably not going to meet next week because next week is Christmas. I was thinking it was going to be like after Christmas or something like that, but it's actually Christmas, okay? <clears throat> Hi, Mom. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. We are starting... <clears throat> oh, it does. It never fails. Every time I get on camera, I've got a cough. Good gracious, it bothers me. Okay, and you had surgery. Awesome. Oh, I'm so glad you're doing better. I'm so glad. Making a flag tree car. Hi, Connie. Good. You guys are so crafty. I love it. I love it. Don't forget to send me a picture so I can so I can post on um on our group page. Okay, so we are using Cup of Christmas, and remember these past few weeks we've been kind of doing treats so that we can get you know get ready for um christmas and stuff so we're going to use this cup of christmas we've got some goodies here i'm going to move these off to the side so i can show you what we're making <clears throat> excuse me we are making these are um cocoa packets yeah we're we're making cocoa packets today and and they're hot cocoa and they've got some other goodies in them, but we're going to make these so, and I know I say it all the time, super easy. I've got some, um, I've got some people at church that could use these. Um, we, we've got a special service next week, so I'm going to give, um, give some of these out, but I'm going to show you how to make them. And, um, because if I had known that these things go together so easily, we would have made them a long time ago. Super, super stinking cute. And so easy. And again, we're using the stamp set from the cu the um, cup of Christmas. And we've got some candy, of course. But we're going to do our base first. We're going to do the base first. Let me move some things out of the way. Bring in my trimmer. <clears throat> and I want to thank you guys for hanging there in there with me every single week. These couple of weeks where we've, we've been doing this series. I will be back right after Christmas and we'll start back up again. We'll probably do some stuff out of the um, the new catalog because whew, there's some beautiful things in there. So what we're going to do is we are going to start with, this is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of Night of Navy. We're going to put this in the trimmer and we're going to cut it down to four by 11. So here's the thing about this. You can get two of these out of just one 
paper. Okay, one one piece of cardstock. You can get two of them. So this one's four by 11, which we need. We need it four by 11. So we're gonna cut this one down to four by 11 as well. And there we go. And all you have left is this little piece, piece of um, scrap. So, which is good, which is good. Okay, <clears throat> now we're gonna put in our paper. We're gonna score. And again, don't forget, these are gonna be on the project sheet. All the measurements and stuff is going to be on the project sheet. Let me move you guys out of the way. Okay, so our first score is going to be at one and a quarter. All right. One and a quarter. And I'm just doing both of these right here. I could get out the scoreboard and just, you know, and score them with a the scoreboard. But who's lazy today? I am. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so there's one and a quarter. Then we're going to go to five. And we're going to score at five, put both of those at five, close it, score at five, and then we're just going to go to five and a half. And guess what? That is it. That will be it. All the scoring done. Like that's all we need. Just, just that scoring right there. I'm actually not going to use this one. I don't know why I did that. Probably I can make some more with those, you know, like later on I can make more. Okay, so here's the process. We need to have our designer series paper. I'm using this um, designer series paper, which is, <clears throat> excuse me, it's Cutie Pie's Cutie Pie uh, designer series paper, which um, I totally forgot. So hold on a second. I think it's called something Christmas, something. Of course, it's something Christmas. Uh, there, night, be <clears throat> night before Christmas. And we're using this one right here. So if you guys, I, I'm pretty sure it's still available. But if you need like super quick um, treats, definitely get this. This is cut down to three and three quarters by two and three quarters. So we'll do that. It's already cut down, so we don't have to worry about that. But what we are going to worry about is I need to have some corners on here, okay? So the corner rounder that I like is this one. This one is contraband. It is from Memory Keepers, but I absolutely love it. So I've got to use it. And I think maybe I will. I'm going to use both of these, both of these at one time. So what I want to do is I want to make corners here. Let's see, can we bring this one out? I want corners on this part here and I want corners up here. So what I'm doing with that, I'm going to make corners on this flap. This is the half inch side. Going to make corners there. And then I know that this is my top portion. So I want corners here and I'll clean up that mess in a second. Move that away. So now all of it has corners. Okay which is, that's the easy part. <laughs> that's the easy part. Okay, so now what we need, we need to make sure that we have all these folded and scored, or not scored, they're already scored. I always say that. Silly me. We wanna burnish those scores that we made so it's nice and pretty, okay? So those two are done. Now let's do this one. So this goes up like this, then you want this front, this one flap where we'd made the one and a quarter inch score, that goes forward. Whether you're, you know, doing it this way or that way, doesn't matter. It still goes forward, the opposite direction of how you scored. It's going to look like this, guys. So down, here's your five and five and a half. And this score right here is your one and um, one and a quarter right there. Okay, so it's going to look just like that. Okie dokie. So, what we're... <clears throat> oh, God, I'm so sorry. Hold on a second. Let me get something to drink. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Woo. Sorry about that. All right. So, now we have this piece of paper. Again, it's three and three quarters. <clears throat> three and three quarters by two and three quarters. My goodness. Okay. Ah. Uh. Let's let's see if we can get through the rest of this without without dying over here. Oh my goodness. All right. So we're going to take this 
piece right here. And put some snail on the back. I apologize so much for that. Okay, so even though we have this piece, we have to know exactly where to put it, right? So I'm gonna lay this out. Now I know that this goes like this. This is my inside, right? So I want the designer series paper on the outside. So I'm gonna lay it flat. This is totally the other way and it kind of goes up like that. Underneath here, I don't need to have this designer series paper. I want it showing down here. So I'm gonna make some, I'm gonna make my little borders right here, okay? And you can see that on here. See that? We have the borders right along there instead. When we fold this back, it'll look just like that. It'll look super cute just like that. So this is what we're gonna do for the inside. Now I'm gonna do the inside this way. I'm gonna put tear tape down my stapler um, just ran out, of course, because I need it, and that's why it ran out. And I wouldn't use a stapler here on this part, but on the other part, I would use my stapler. And it just decided to go kaput on me. So I'm going to use, well, I'm going to try to use, yeah, no. I want my little, my little thingy. Where's my little doohickey thingy? Sometimes you got to do, you got to use what you know, you know, I would use that thing. I love it. My pick, my paper picker, whatever that thing is, but I am going to use my paper piercer because that's just what I'm used to. I'm used to using. Okay. See how, see how easy that was? <laughs> Not easy. <laughs> okay. So now what I have, I have these two sides and this, and these are gonna, these are gonna be put together like this. But you can see right here, there's like a little, uh, there's with the scores that we made, there's room in there for you to put goodies in. So can you see through here? Mm, yeah, because we have we have more than just the hot cocoa to go in it. So I wanted it a little bit thicker to put more. You guys can put more stuff in it. All right. So one thing we're gonna need, we're going to put. I'm gonna put a piece of this tear tape right along the center, just like that. And I wanna make sure it's on there, burnished on there so that when I go to pick it up, it's gonna be easy to pick it up. And I want just a little bit of this beautiful ribbon that we're gonna say goodbye to the holidays. It's, we're gonna to have to say goodbye to all our holiday stuff. Are you guys all ready for Christmas? Like, is everybody, all their packages are wrapped and, you know, all that good stuff. You guys are awesome. I'm like, run into the mailbox, all that kind of good stuff still. <laughs> Nothing like waiting until the last minute. Christmas, you know, happens once a year. You should be, you should be ready, right? Not. Okay, so what I'm doing here, I'm just cutting off the sides so that it looks like this, okay? And now... With me cutting off the size, I'm trying to keep keep it clear here so that I don't make a mess. I make, you know, you guys know I make a mess, so. All right, so we have this part down here. Now, like I said, since my little thingy is, um, my stapler is messed up, I am going to take just a little bit of glue. You guys will definitely use a stapler on this part, okay? Am I on camera? Yeah. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of, of uh, the green glue. And I know we like, don't necessarily like the green glue, but for, ugh, for situations like this, we're just gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and do it. Okay, so I'm gonna lay this flat and then I'm gonna bring it together because I need to have those, that little pocket right there. And I'm just gonna hold it for a second and let it do its thing so it's together. All right, and so what we're gonna do in the meantime, we are gonna cut out, we need to cut out um, these pieces here. And we're gonna do a little bit of stamping, super easy. You guys, oh my goodness. So this is gonna come together. You're gonna be like, if I had known that these things were so easy to do, I would have done them a long time ago. I'm bringing in the big shop. We are going to cut Oops, we're gonna cut Whisper White in this 
this one of the dies. I don't know what number that's 705 1417. No, that's the um, what do you call it number? We're not, we don't care about that, right? So we need to have our scratch piece of blue, right? Because this is going to be the outside. This is the inside that we're going to be stamping on that part. So we want them both there. Then what we're going to do, we're just going to run the big shot, run this part. And you guys can do this, like, if you know you have seven of them that you need to do or ten of them, whatever, then you could run these through the big shot so easily. They, they're super sweet and easy. And so they're small. And also, if your pieces are small enough, you can run through more than one, you know, more, more than one at a time. I'm trying to show you that these are like the stinking cute, easy, easy way to go. OK. All right. So we have these two punched out. And then we're done. Scrap paper here, scrap paper here. And then we have these two. So now what we need to do, move you out of the way. We have our Knight of Navy, our stamp set. We still have our glue, which is good. We're gonna need that in a minute. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and stamp. And I'm using this sentiment, this sentiment right here, a uh, cup of cheer, sending you a cup of cheer. We have had some stuff going on, you know, uh, things happen during the holidays. And I really want to just, you know, I'm hoping that this would brighten somebody's day. That's my, that's my goal for this. Because sometimes over the holidays, you never know people's situation. Anytime you don't know people's situations. And I just want it to, you know, to make people happy. Just like you guys do when you stamp, right? We make cards to make people happy, you know, to share the joy, share the love. Sweet. And look at that. And then you're done, right? Love it. So that was easy. And then we have our piece here. Now, what I did with this, I put on dimensionals. I put dimensionals on the front right here. And then... Actually, I might put three on here. I don't know. I don't really need three because it, it, it is going to be protected. So it's not like it's going to be out, right? But I will put two in the back. Definitely two in the back. And then I need to have just one of these. These are the holiday rhinestone, the basic holiday rhinestone. I do want one of those. So we're going to put those on. And I'm going to use my paper piercer again. And we'll lift this up and put it right here. Okay? We're not going to put those on yet. Because we still got one more thing that we need to do to our little hot cocoa packet. Besides put the hot cocoa in. But we're all done with those. All done with those. Put this over here. Bring this here. <laughs> Move things out of the way. All right. So this is all. Is it down? Did I see it pop up? I don't know. All right, we'll have to double check it to make sure. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in my hot cocoa. So what I found, my first time I did this hot cocoa, I did it and I like it, I ripped into it. So now I'm just gonna be super careful with it. And I also found that because this has marshmallows in it, sometimes it was acting like, um, yeah, okay. It was acting like it couldn't go in. So I'm moving that, I'm moving up my marshmallows and the hot chocolate, mostly up to the top so I can get this bottom part in. Let's see. There we go. There we go. Okay, now this is gonna seem crazy, but on the other ones, I have this little this little notch that's up there and I added the notch just you know to make it cute to make it even cuter like stinking cute you don't have to add the notch if you don't want to but if you are going to add the notch let me show you how to do it I keep pressing on this because I want to make sure that glue is is there okay so I'm eyeballing where my hot chocolate packet is where it is on this on the grand scheme of things how much room I have left and then I'm going to take it back out. I'm going to take my punch. This is the banner punch, I believe. I believe it's the banner punch. I'm going to put my banner punch in. 
And I'm not, and I'm doing this this way because I'm gonna, I need a bow right here to see the, like the bow there. And if I, if I put the bow on, then I can't get this down far enough. And I don't want it to sit too high. I want it to come down just a little ways. I, I don't even know. You guys will eyeball, uh, ugh, eyeball it, okay? And I also want to make sure that it's straight. So I know, like I'm looking at my lines here. You guys look at the lines. I don't, I, I'm sorry, I don't have that in, in camera there. But I'm just going to pop that out. Let me have this here. Then I can do my do my hot chocolate over again. Okay. Stick my hot chocolate back in there. Just like that. And again, you guys could use tear tape. I would suggest to staple it, but you guys can do it however you like. Okay, now that part is done. We're gonna take some glue tape. Take some our uh, glue tape, glue dots. I know what they are. <laughs> I do, I do. I'm gonna take two just because I wanna make sure that they stay on there. And the little bow is gonna go right there. Now I also have, I also have this little piece of uh, Ghirardelli, ugh, Ghirardelli's chocolate. I'm pushing all of my hot chocolate down there to the bottom. And I'll lift this up just a little. And then the very, very last thing beside, before I put that on, are my candy canes so look at this how cute is this these are mini candy canes not like mini mini but they're not like the big candy canes they're smaller i thought that was so cute they were so so cute so these are gonna go go right in here just like that this is gonna stick out just like that we're gonna take the backing off these two and we'll stick that kind of try to stick it right underneath there sending you a cup of cheer oh how cute 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 just like that and there you go how easy and so i just packaged them up because i'm i'm giving them to the ladies so you guys can do the same all you have to do is like i said i'll have the project sheet there so that you can follow the project sheet and it's gonna have all the you know the pictures same as same as usual um again i just made this little thing here so that we can put a little bit more in it and that is it that is our project for tonight we did awesome we did we did awesome i think i have one more somewhere oh here it goes so i've been trying i'm i'm making like mass of these because they're so easy to make you guys i promise so I will not be here next week. Next week is Christmas. Oh my goodness, it's Christmas. So um, we're gonna we're not gonna have anything next week, but we will come back um, after Christmas, and I'm gonna see how everybody's doing and stuff like that. I want to wish you guys a super happy Christmas, and I hope. Oh my goodness, I hope you guys have a fantastic Christmas. Get all the presents you want. Give all the presents you want. Um, absolutely. Oh, and Mary Ann, I'm sorry. I'm just now looking at uh, the comments, but the candy canes, these candy canes were in Walmart. Honey, I get all like almost all of my candy from Walmart. Yeah, I get almost all my candy from Walmart. And I don't know if it's just because like Christmas is almost over that they had some left. I don't know. But um, Walmart here in Colorado, we that's uh, we have these mini candy canes. Um, the other thing, I think I, I think I remembered that you guys have an awesome, awesome Christmas. Happy New Year. I will pro I'm thinking I'm going to see you before the new year, um, unless you guys are on vacation. And I want to thank you so much for joining me for this Christmas series. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. So I know we can do this again, um, for, you know, for another holiday or so, or, you know, birthdays, whatever. And I will um, see you guys again really soon. Hi, Janice. Janice wants to know what size bag this is. So these are our bags. These are just, hold on a second. These are our six by eight cello bags. That's why they're kind of big on the side because they're, there are six by eight cello bags and I didn't make them for, you know, like to fit this or anything like that. I don't think we have one to fit it. And all I did was fold it over like this. Okay, so when you go to give it to somebody, put like, I put a little piece of washi tape on the back, just, you know, 
just a little piece of washi tape. I've got my little name on it right there. And yeah, that's it. Put the bow on it. And again, these all these projects that I that I try to do anyway are made so that you guys can make them quick, get them done and, you know, and not, you know, not a lot of fuss and muss and all that sort of stuff to it, okay? So you guys have a wonderful night. Thank you for hanging out with me and I will talk with you again soon. Have a Merry Christmas and I'll see you week after next. Bye guys.